Virgs, how are you doing? I don't know why I'm contemplating this reading. Probably because Mercury is in retrograde and and I'm a Virgo. So we just overanalyze, overanalyze, overanalyze. That's what we do, huh? How are you doing if you're new to the channel? I'm also a Virgo. I reside in London, UK. And if you'd like to, in the comment section below, let me know where you reside. So inventory spread today. We're also going to cover the person that's crushing on you or thinking about you, how they're currently feeling. And we're also going to pick up on the advice with regards to love. Okay. Sorry, I can see the ring lights a bit bright there, but let's get into it. So past energy, three of swords, my darlings. This is not going to resonate with everybody. You know, um, if you find that it does then show some love, it really does help us readers. Three of swords in the past energy with the ten of cups and the ace of swords in the background there coming out uh for the past energy you know i feel like this is a lot of virgos we've been stuck stuck in sadness stuck you may have uh virgo in your chart you don't have to be a virgo stuck in your sadness you know feeling down f finding it very hard to let go of for some of you third party situations for some of you a breakup uh, a heartbreak you know hurt pain regret sadness being stabbed in the heart you know Oof. Something really hurt. And it was something it was somebody or something that you loved with that ten of cups energy there. You know, you you loved this person or you at least thought you was in love, you know. Um, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna flip in paint a pretty picture when there's no need to, okay? This is about being real. You wasn't truthful to yourself. And I've said this before, some of you may have decided to just kind of put the wool over the red flags and that type of energy, okay? It is what it is. You were also overanalyzing, you know, being stuck in that heartbreak, going through your heartbreak and overanalyzing every situation and, and keeping your emotions to yourself because we're very good at that. So, yeah, stuck. Someone hurt us. It is what it is, you know, um... Maybe we judged uh, we judged this person wrongly. You know, we thought that they were going to be there for the long term with the Ten of Cups. We thought they were family orientated. They had a lot of love to give. But at the same time, nah. We were wrong. We were wrong. It gets like that. Sometimes life just whatever. Some of you, especially with this two of cups here in the present energy, with the eight of wands in reverse, I feel like, yep, yeah, no contact for some of you guys, okay? Ten of swords energy. Some of you are still going through the motions. This was a painful ending. And you can't just get over shit. Especially when you love someone. You just, how can you be expected just to get over them? No one's just telling you to get over it. Go through the emotions. And I will say this, for some of you, you were dealing with some someone that felt like a soulmate, you know. You were happy, you were in a bliss. Maybe the conversations were great, you felt loved, the, the sex was great. Take it as it resonates. Mm-hmm. There was like a mirroring of souls, you know. I definitely feel like, I feel like here in this present energy, you and your person are both still hurting both still going through the motions, there's still some sort of hurt there, right? Overthinking, even paranoia, depression, take it as it resonates, all right, my lovelies? Um, it's not going to resonate with everybody, that's how tarot works, I can't resonate with every Virgo out there, okay? So there's delays, you know, maybe there's no contact, there's been a lot of burnout, a lot of you have been feeling like oh i just can't take it anymore i just want to be happy so what does good old virgo do nine of pentacles there in reverse work 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 beyonce is a virgo i don't know why i gave you that information but yeah working working you may you may be very successful money may not be an issue to you virgo right but you also know that money is not everything a lot of virgos know that money ain't everything Money comes and goes. You've got a good relationship, I think, with money. The emotions, you know, I feel like a lot of you are really closed off with your emotions because that two of cups there suggests to me that some of you may be talking to new people. 
new friends, new connections. However, I feel like you're just working, you're overworking, you know, you're kind of turning your back on emotion for right now. You know, especially this Knight of Cups here in reverse, in the future energy, kind of like just not really giving people the time of day. In the future energy, you know, be very mindful, some Virgos, that you don't walk straight back into this, into this little fucker here. Because this can also signify this person could be cancer pisces scorpio it doesn't have to be these zodiac signs they could have water in their chart okay uh this person can be a jealous person they can not only be jealous they can be a player a player so be mindful not to uh walk straight into a player you know leave one player and then walk right back into the other but uh yeah the three of swords here all that betrayal that hurt that pain finding it hard to move on and closing off your heart. No, Virgs, don't do that. I definitely feel like right now, especially with the advice, Virgs, like it's not it's not a time for for love. It's a time for you to do your spiritual work. It's a time for you to leave the strays out in the street. You know, you don't flip and need it. Because people will take, 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 they'll take anything they can out of you. Love, sex, money. They will drain you and you are so giving. But um, I think the advice, especially with, with regards to love, is to cut out the strays, cut out the, the people that you know are not on your level, Virgs. Do what you got to do. It's time to, It's a time for grounding yourself now. It's a time to build your legacy. Help the community, help the people around you. We are the sign of service. It's time to be open and honest. Honest with maybe the people that, that left you out in the cold. Do you need that? Is that love? Is that real love? Do you need that right now? Do you need to worry and, 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 and overanalyze? You've, you've been through enough pain, enough hurt. You've been through enough of that. My Virgos, my beautiful Virgos. So I was asking about um, how your person is feeling right now, okay? So I feel like maybe... There was some form of contact in the past energy or they're hoping that you're going to contact them. That five of cups suggests to me that there's been tears, there's been sadness. This person is quite negative. They, you know, they're stuck in their emotions. They are feeling hurt as well, you know. Someone, I think someone put in the comment section yesterday, and I'm not here to judge. I love you guys all, trust me. But uh, they said... Uh, I, I think I said in the video, listen, wish them well, wish them love, wish them happiness. And, and someone was like, no, are you crazy? Why would I do that? Or something like that. And I'm thinking to myself, hmm, you want to do that because if you can't do that, then you never truly loved them. People that you truly love, you don't never stop loving someone that you truly loved. Surely. You may not be in love with them anymore, but the love will never die, right? True love never dies. That's definitely a saying somewhere. So that's what I meant by that. This person's hurting. This person's sad. They know they disappointed you. They disappointed themselves. They, I think, you know, they find it hard to contact, uh, communicate with you. They're hoping that you communicate with them. There's also this energy of, you know, this this started off as something new. This person was hopeful. They may even want to try and, and buy you a gift. This is somebody that wanted to save the day. But good old Virgo, very independent Virgo, doesn't need anybody to save their day. There was an opportunity here. And this person gave it their all. I really think they did give it their all. Regardless of the other status, regardless if they betrayed you, if there was other people involved, if they're a player, if they're jealous, regardless, right now they are disappointed. And I'm sure someone's going to say good, oh well, in the comments. But for me, there's a part of me that makes me a little bit sad. You know, we want people to do better. We want to do better for ourselves. Why are we always competing? Why are we always looking for to be better than anybody else? We've all got the same destination, right? We're all going to the same place, no? Time to rest or take a vacation, Virgo. Allow more time before making a decision. 
meditation may provide answers. This is taking a rest. Look at that horse. That horse is sleeping. We never see horses sleep. We always see them standing. Time to take a rest. Time to evaluate everything. Go on a vacation. If you can't go on a vacation because of the current situation in the world, go to the seaside. Go for a day. It's a very successful time. Confidently accept opportunities that you are offered, Virgo. The Midas touch. Everything you touch turns to gold. The King of Swords is very grounded energy, very humbled, very uh, generous, as it says here. Professional, practical, responsible. Yes, I love this energy. It's not easy, you know, being human. <laughs> Right, anything else? Anything else for Vogue? The Sun card, we love it. A happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. It's to have confidence in yourself for me. Beautiful energy here. Be the light, be the light that you are to others, Virgo. You know, when love's meant to come in, it will come in. Sometimes I've done, I'm guilty of it. I'm freaking guilty of it. And sometimes I even fall for the trap and I give you a lot what you want to hear. But it's not always about what you want to hear. Sometimes it's what you need to hear, right? Love will come in when it's ready to come in, when it's meant to come in. If you force it, it's not going to work out. It ain't going to work out. Go through your emotions. Accept the betrayal. Accept the situation for what it is. I know it's not easy. This is a very successful time for a lot of Virgos because we turn our pain into our passion. We're very good at that. But don't overdo it. Make sure you take time for yourself, whatever that is, a nice hot bath, paint your nails, go to the hairdressers, go to the barbers. This is to my kings and my queens, all right? I hope you friggin' enjoyed that reading. And I tried my best, I actually tried my best to to concentrate on love coming in i will do a separate video on love but as for now taro said nope this is what they need to hear this is what we shall hear mm -hmm. you can book me for a personal reading virgo through email at thegiftedhermit at gmail.com i will send you my price list they start from 25 pounds which is about 30 dollars i think american money I'm just letting you know that because a lot of people waste my time. They ask me, they want a personal reading. I send them my price list and then they don't get back in touch with me. You can also follow me on uh, Instagram, Facebook, although I'm trying to say my best off social media. And if you become a member of this channel, if you join and become a member, not subscribe, if you join for a very low fee, I think it's, I think it's like $2. I'm not even sure how much it is. Maybe three dollars a month and every time i go live you get to skip the queue for those that are wait waiting for free tarot in that live tarot stream you get to skip the queue so do bear that in mind it would be a good thing for you to become a member i love you virgos let's look each uh continue to look after each other on this journey all right be kind to others but most importantly be kind to you also let me know in the comment section below if there's anything else that you'd like me to cover in these readings, all right? Catch you on Rebound, babies. Mwah.